Starting off in spearfishing can be a daunting task because there are so many different types of spear gun out there on the market. So in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at the benefits of different types of spear gun. Sling. Sling spear guns are the most traditional type of spear gun. They use an elasticated bungee that attaches onto your shaft to propel it through the water. They've been used for decades around the world and of course they've been perfected over the years. Pneumatic. Pneumatic spear guns have two compressed air chambers inside. The first one you charge up by using a bicycle pump and the second one is charged when you load your spear. Combining this compressed air will propel your spear. They're very neat and tidy compared to sling guns. Because of the lack of moving parts on the outside, they're very neat compared to traditional sling guns. Spring. Spring guns are the cheapest and most simple. They have a simple spring on the inside of the barrel that when you retract your shaft into it will compress that spring. When you pull the trigger, it will release it. So they're best used in really small rock pools where you don't need a great amount of power and just a very simple shot. Roller. Roller spear guns give you plenty of control over the power of your shot. With two or three hooks at the bottom, they attach one end of your bungee. This then loops over a pair of rollers right at the muzzle, and then the top end of the bungee, the other end, attaches onto the shaft. By changing where the bottom attaches onto, gives you control over the power of your shot. So they're a great all-round spear gun, so you can hunt in really open water or more confined, so you can control the power of your shot. Straight slings. Straight slings or parallel slings use two twin bungees. So they're both attached to the muzzle via a screw, and then the other end is a screw attachment onto your wishbone. Circular sling. Circular slings are a single piece of bungee rubber. They wrap around the muzzle of the gun and they have two attachment points for your wishbone. These are preferred by more advanced divers because of their simplicity and the fewer failure points. Double sling. Double slings have twice the power of a single sling. By using two slings attaching to your shaft in two different positions means that you can have twice as much power. But if you want to, you can only use one if you don't need to make such a powerful or such a long shot so you get the best of both worlds. Open head. Open heads allow you to look all the way down the length of the shaft to line up your shot. They usually have sections so that you can tie up your line to hold that shaft in position so it doesn't bounce out. Closed head. Closed heads actually trap your shaft in position. So whilst they can rattle around, they usually stay in position. So you can line it up and move around so they're especially useful when hunting in and around the surf. Whilst covering the shaft over, you can still line up your shot by aiming down the shaft. But it's far less likely that your shaft will bounce out, even in high surf. Wire wishbone. Wire wishbones are the most basic of wishbones. They attach onto your shaft by simply locking it into position on one of the notches and you can remove them by unscrewing and they attach onto the bungee by two screws. They're fairly simple to replace but they don't give you the cleanest release out there. Hinged wishbone. Hinged wishbones have three metal parts, which are all hinged. So they have a nice amount of flexibility. They're easy to load just by attaching it onto one of the notches on your shaft. They also give a fairly clean release. Dyneema sling. Dyneema lines are preferred by more advanced divers because they're very simple to change and replace. They work by having two loops, one embedded in each side of the bungee, that you then tie a Dyneema line to. This becomes your wishbone and simply attaches over the notch on your shaft. Quick and easy to replace and they also give you a very clean release. Round barrel. Round barrels are the most basic, which means they're inexpensive, but quite simple. They don't have any kind of guide rail so that your shaft can move around whilst it's in position. So you do have to be careful when aiming to make sure that it's pacing in the right direction so it goes in a straight line. 
Integrated rail. Integrated rails means that down the barrel you will have a groove that your shaft will sit in. This will keep it nice and accurate. It'll stop the shaft from bouncing out from side to side so it stays very accurate. It also has the added benefit of adding rigidity and strength to the overall barrel of the gun. Trapped rail. Trapped rails wrap around most of the shaft, so that stops it from moving. It can only go forwards and backwards. This means that they're very accurate and they also increase the rigidity of the overall barrel. They also have the added benefit that your shaft can never bounce out, so it's always in position. Cuttlefish. Flattened cuttlefish barrels like this one are much more hydrodynamic when you're planing and moving your spear gun from side to side. So they're often a lot quicker to aim and easier to move around in the water. It also increases the overall strength of the barrel so you never have to worry about it bending or misshaping. Plastic trigger. Polymer triggers are a lot lighter and cheaper, but they're not quite as precise as metal triggers. So there can be some give and some leeway as to when your actual shot is released. So you need to learn exactly where that trigger point is to release your gun. Metal trigger. Metal triggers are much more precise. The machining means that they're very accurate and very reliable. With a simple squeeze of the trigger, you're gonna release that shaft. The increase in accuracy means that you have no doubt as to whether or when your shaft is gonna be released, so you're going to be much more accurate. Basic sight. Traditional sights work like iron sights on a normal rifle. They have two notch sections at the back that you line up with the notch right at the fore end of the gun. Lining them up will give you an idea of where the shaft will go, but they're not as accurate as open sights. Open sight. Open sights allow you to aim your shot by looking straight down the shaft of the gun. The shaft will travel in a straight line, so it's very intuitive and very open. So you can see your target and your shaft and instinctively aim it down the sight. Handle. Your handle will often be angled at a very natural angle from the barrel, so you can line up your shot with an outstretched arm. The back of it will usually have a rubberized material to give you extra grip, and they'll often be brightly colored, so if you ever let go of your gun, they're much easier to find in the water. Safety catch, often ambidextrous, but not always, so it's always best to check. They're very intuitive, very natural to flick up and switch off. Ambidextrous, sidebar safety catches are ambidextrous and they work by a simple bar that goes straight through the trigger mechanism. And they work by a simple bar that goes straight through the center of the trigger mechanism. They block the trigger from moving and they're ambidextrous by nature. So very intuitive and quick and easy to deactivate. Top safety catch. Safety catches that are on the top are ambidextrous by nature, but a little out of hand, so it's a bit harder to adjust them. So when you're just about to line up for a shot, you need to make sure that your safety catch is off, otherwise it can take a lot of time to switch it off and re-line up. Multi-head. Multi-heads have lots of different ways of attaching slings, and they often give you an extra chance so you can add another sling so you can have two at the same time. They often have lots of routing for your line as well to keep it neat and tidy, which will also hold your shaft in position. Bungee. A bungee is a really simple device that attaches to the end of your line and then onto your spear gun. It gives you a bit of shock absorbance when the shaft goes the full distance and it also adds a little bit of tension to your entire line when you're loading your shaft. So the line stays in place and doesn't move around when you're trying to take a shot. Line release. Most spear guns will have some kind of line release. This is a little hook that attaches to the trigger so that as soon as you pull the trigger, the line will be released, allowing your spear to go the full distance. But the butt of the gun is very important because this is gonna help you load your gun. Holding it against your chest, your thigh, or even against your foot, you use that butt, you use that butt to anchor the gun against yourself so you can pull those slings back. Length. The length of your gun is the most important feature. So shorter guns are good for small compact areas when you're hunting around rocks and in small rocky areas. So you need something small and nimble, but not too powerful. 
Longer guns are made for open water fishing, so the long barrel allows you to get real accuracy and a long powered shot. They often have larger bungees, so you can get more power behind your shot for a really straight and powerful shot. Camouflage. Camouflage and matte painting means that you're not gonna stand out quite as often, as fish will often see the long straight lines of your spear gun and swim away. The mottled camouflage will blend you in slightly with the undergrowth to blend you in. So that was a quick look at spear guns, but there are plenty more out there. Let us know what spear gun you use down in the comments below. All of these spear guns are available at our website, simplyscuba.com. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and safe diving.